on the last stretch before the midterm elections. The candidates for Arizona spin over as they sprint for Tuesday. We have two angles to cover tonight on candidates from of course. Both parties and how they spent their Saturday trying to pick up every last vote. As a lot of them locked in race is considered a dead he's. Start with Fox 10s. Please. Marissa Serbak. A Scottsdale resident. Marissa. I'm looking at the Republican side of the ticket. The GOP candidates in every race tonight were out in Scottsdale. Chandler Mesa. And in Phoenix as well all across the valley. Searching for every last vote. Linda Bryan. That event just finished up in Scottsdale just really a few moments ago earlier tonight. Now. Many of the topics that were discussed last night centered on inflation and border security. Kerry Lake. A candidate for governor. Blamed President Biden for the rise in the amount of fentanyl entering the country tonight. Listen, he made our families aware of the crime and the cartels. The fentanyl crash was his fault in the middle of the Kerry Lake speech. A heckler backed up. Surely he did. Surely he did. You do not believe Joe Biden was the cause? I'd love to question why this guy was escorted from the Scottsdale venue as Lake finished talking to a crowd of supporters also on stages across the valley tonight. Including state secretary candidate Mark Fincham. Who pushed for a hand count of all Arizona ballots on ILEC. I am sure that you hit on the border and inflation issue. Does anyone else? We're going to stop this inflation. But it's about impossible to keep up with all the problems the Democrats have caused in the last 20 months. The border will be secured by U.S. A few questions as the Republican candidates rallied together this weekend. Expecting a red wave in every race. We are going to win. But we can't be complacent. We have a lot of work to do. But we have the right messenger and are outworking. A lot of people don't really pay attention to this. But this year, the midterm is going to set the precedence for the rest of this country's history. Said Mark Kelly. Who we spoke with. Saying that this is the first time they've ever come out to a rally for a political candidate. Senators Danes from Montana and Cotton from Eric. Arkansas are both senators. Sorry. I'm here in Arizona too. Working with the ARI on a campaign.